Hi girls, this is Miss Madison. So today I'm gonna to show you all how to make a sundial. And a sundial is a really neat little instrument that helps you tell the time without having to have a clock or anything else. It's just the sun, rocks, and sticks. So let's get started. First thing that you're gonna to need to do for your sundial is you're gonna to need to have your rocks. I just picked these out of my gravel driveway, uh, but if you don't have a gravel driveway, you can use things like, I've seen people use bricks to mark it. Uh, you can also just stick other things in the ground to mark the time. So if you have a toy or like a marker cap or anything like that that you wanna use, you can also use that. So you're gonna to wanna to set your stones up like you would see on a clock and you need them to be pretty close together. So that would be 12 and that would be six on a clock. Then you're gonna to wanna to put them together, uh, just continue putting them at. So 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So they need to be arranged like this. And it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. If you guys kind of want to make it, uh, if it looks more ovular or if it's a little lopsided, that's totally okay too. And you're going to want to find a stick. You need to find one that can point up and will cast a pretty good shadow. Um, this fell off of a willow bush in my yard. So that's what I'm going to use. But you can use any kind of stick that you might find. Again, you can also use a pencil or a marker if you don't have anything that'll stick straight up like this. And then you just find the spot at the center of your dial and you stick it into the ground. And there you go. And I'll have some videos later on that I took uh, after this to kind of show you. But right now the sun, <laughs> hi, the sun is not out enough for it to cast a shadow that we can actually see. So that's how you make a sundial and I will get back to you all with the results. Hi girls, it's Miss Maddie. I wanted to show you all kind of the results of the sundial. I know this is different from the one that you just saw me build to show you how to make one. This is the one that I did to test it out and I found that it actually had better sunlight. So this is what I'm gonna use for an example for you all. So we have our rocks lined up like you would the numbers on a clock and we have our stick facing up. Uh, and when you look at it, you can see that the shadow is right there right along there and if you go around like the hands of a clock would you see you have one two three four right now it's about two o'clock and you can see that the shadow is pointing to right about where the two would be so that is pretty neat that's how sundials work and i will get back to you all whenever there is a change in the time all right hi girls this is my second video about the sundial we're at a different angle because it kind of lets you see the shadow a little bit better if you stand right over it so it's about three o'clock now and you can see that the sundial shadow has moved from where it was there to where it is now so it's a lot closer to three and i have to set that stick back up <laughs> hi girls so we can see that our sundial has moved from the last time it's about four o'clock now so it's gone further this way um, and as the sun sets in that direction it'll start to kind of move around the clock Hi girls, that's the end of our little sundial experiment. Let me know how it went for you. Did you learn a little bit more about how the sun moves and how shadows move as the day goes on? Uh, did you have any trouble building it? What materials did you use? Did you have to use some different ones? Let me know. And if you have any pictures of your sundial, I would also love to see those. Bye.